Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and before we begin, we're going to do our Marguerite Miller challenge today, and I am just on week 15, as you can see, it's a month ago, so I've got some catching up to do still. But before we begin, I'm going to thank some people who have been so generous and donated to our Buy Me a Coffee, which that money goes directly into our YouTube channel. So, Joanne, uh... D.W. Clance, C-L-A-N-C-E, Elvia, Teresa, Zai, Z-H-I, Karen, Christina, Naja, Claudia, Mary, Sheila, Martha, Jacqueline, uh, Denise, and Cheryl. Thank you guys so, so much for your generosity. I really, really appreciate it, and it is helping us in our YouTube voyage. It just helps us keep going and keep supplies purchased up and buy new equipment when we need it and that kind of thing. So I really, really appreciate it. Okay, we are going to get into this. Now, like I said, this is week 15 or CW15, which is the first part of April. So I've got 16 and 17 and then 18 and we'll be up to this week so I've got a few weeks to go and I may do some off camera just because some of them are pretty repetitive but uh, we want to go ahead and do this one so this one says so this one says a repeating pattern found in nature and I thought what could be more repeating than flowers and birds I mean they're repeating aren't they because you see them everywhere they're around everywhere and they're absolutely gorgeous so and this is just one of those napkins that I said that I had um, laminated I'll get it out in a minute I'm looking for my scissors sorry about that I got a little distracted because I was trying to think thinking and crafting at the same time sometimes it doesn't work there we go oh, that's pretty straight and I'm just going to put that down on there. I'm not even going to worry about anything else or collaging, anything like that, because I think that's pretty. We may come back and put something else later, somewhere else on there, but not right now. So how is everyone? I have seen some week two challenges already popping up in the group. And if you don't know what that is, I'll link our playlist below. You can get in on that challenge. Um, if the person who wins the challenge, we will draw at the end of the month. And the person who wins will win a $100 gift certificate to our store. So you need to get in on the challenge if you're not already. But you do have to be a subscriber here to our YouTube channel. So all you need to do is just make sure that you are a subscriber. Most of you guys are, I know. Now, something in watercolor. This is watercolor. And then... A piece of washi tape, a calendar page, or portion of. So this is a portion of our April calendar page. So we're going to kill two birds with one stone. You know, I don't like that saying because I don't want to kill any birds, but I know what it means. This is going to take care of our watercolor and our calendar page right here. And I just tore it so that it would be about the size to go down over here. We'll put something over it probably, but I just thought that would work right there. And it's April that we're, you know, this month that we're doing is April, so that's pretty fitting. All right, so that's got repeating pattern, something in watercolor, and a calendar page. Now we need something musical and a piece of washi tape. So, let's see. I drug out some musicals. What did I do with it? I drug out some pieces of music page. So, that's pretty musical, isn't it? I think I'm just going to tear this. This is a very, very old music page. I'm going to use a piece of that. And... I think I'll tear a little bit of that off too so that I don't cover up too much of my calendar 
And let's go ahead and tear a little bit of this side off. Okay. So I think I'll put that right there. And that will be something musical. And I may go ahead and let me tear a little piece of this. Get it a little bit straighter. And I may go ahead and put this piece on this side. Right there somewhere. We'll see. And okay, I'll tell you what I think I'm gonna do. I was just looking over to see what I had here. I love these butterflies, and this is a page that it this is a napkin, and one of you guys sent it to me. And what it is is this one was sprayed, I think with something and it I love the texture of it. I don't remember who sent it or what it sprayed with, but if you sent it, could you leave a message down below and just if there's a video on it or something, let us know because I'm sure a lot of people's gonna want to know this. And I'm just gonna trim out this, you know, since you've got it either laminated or like this sprayed with a sealant, then it makes it stiff enough that you can trim out around the pieces without any problem and that's something that you really can't do on just a napkin by itself now I'm not going to be too fussy with the cutting and just cut this little piece right here off and let's see We might, might have to cut all of that branch off. I don't know. Hmm. I like the branch, but my butterfly would be if I put it like that. Well, you know that would that wouldn't be so bad. We could move this over here and put that there. And the butterfly would just be flying away, and that's okay. So let's try that. Now, I need washi tape. So let's go ahead and glue this down. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this little piece up here. And I think I might put it that way. Now let me find some washi tape. All right, I don't really have a washi tape right here with me. So I may do the doodle. It says you can do, the bonus is a doodle. So we'll see what the doodle, what we can come up with to doodle. The only washi I have right here at my desk is some real glittery, and I don't want to use that on here, so we'll just see what kind of doodle we can come up with. So I'm just going to put that down right there. I still haven't brought in all of my washi from the storage, so it's still out there. Ooh, I like that. I really like that there. Okay. Now, let's see, we have something musical. And the only, only thing we're missing is a doodle. So, what are we gonna doodle about? <laughs> I'm not too much of a doodler, but let's just go ahead and do it. Let me grab a pen. Okay, let's just use this Sharpie. I'm just gonna do some dots and then some like writing and then dots. <laughs> it's not really writing, it's just um, you kind of pretend that it is. No one could ever read it. Okay. And then just some doodles. Yep, 
and some doodles. We have that one around and then we'll do this one and then I think I might do one other thing. Okay. Now, let's see. I might just hmm, draw some little things like that. <laughs> oh, little butterflies zooming across there. Let's see anything else I want to put something right here I think so I have my doodles this kind of doodles that I can do anyway I don't doodle doodle very much <laughs> uh, I got these flowers sent to me by one of you and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous they're like a three dimension but I don't know if that would it might go there We've got a little bit of yellow in here and a little yellow over here. So we'll put that right there. And I might put one over here on this side just to show the little birds are flying toward it. Like that. See, it kind of looks like it's in that pattern, doesn't it? Another repeating pattern. it like this and then it's gonna look like it's right there in with that one cute I like that and let's see do we need anything else see I want to keep putting these flowers but then I want to save them for something else so I think that's all that we're gonna do on this page that's got all of our prompts I'll write some notes here and I think that's it I don't think I'm gonna do anything else hmm Nope. I think that's it. So we will do this one probably on the next video. I don't know. I may do this one off camera and then come back and do 17 and 18 on camera and then we'll be caught up. I may do that because this one is some things that we have done before like weather, a person, handwriting, map, number, and a rubber stamp in another color. So but I had someone who asked what I do a flip through so far, so we'll do that. This is the first one. This was before I started covering this. Second one. There's our third one. I love that one. That's my baby. That's Aaron and Melina. And I put some notes here about that. That's my granddaughter's watercolor. Put notes about that over here. And then there's that one. There's that one. It's got a, a pouch up here and it has an old antique vintage note in there. And then this one. And for some reason I didn't cover that and I don't know why. I'll probably go back and cover all of those. And then this one has a card from someone, one of you, right here. And then there's that one. That one I like that and here is this one and that is Aaron and Bethany and me 
And then this one, I love that too. Love all those colors in that. And then here's Winnie the Pooh. And then this one. That one I like too. <clears throat> and then here's this one. That was with the buttons. It's pretty. And then here is this one today. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will link the playlist for this below so that if you want to go back and watch it, you can. And I'll also list the playlist for the um, Ease Challenge for the month of May down below, too. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.